gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching or listening to the first episode ever of the Dirtbag Dan Show. We mm. are here live in the Zay on some very uh, Wayne's World-ish ish in my garage, my or or my El Garaje for uh, all our Spanish listeners. Party time, excellent. That's all the Spanish you're going to get in this entire uh, episode of the Dirtbag Dan Show. Mm. Um, so, uh, big week, first week, we got something big to talk about. We're talking about... Vendetta, ladies and gentlemen, and, and I guess more importantly, we're talking about disaster versus cannabis. I'm technical. I'm, he's definitely technical. So uh, we got a very special gu uh, guest host to come in here and help us discuss this magical, magical situation that is cannabis versus disaster and the whole Vendetta card. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, of course, the one and only Cali's own Lush One. Rip the Jacker. No, no, Rip the Jacker is not on deck. <laughs> of course the metaphorical, way before Neanderthals were scrawling on walls of the dorsal fin of the Corsica. I'm technical. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Lush One. Um, fuck it, man. I mean, this is what the world wants to talk about. The world wants to talk about Vendetta. I mean, we all really want to talk about cannabis versus disaster. But uh, fools don't even know how much fuckery went down with this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we have Lush here. This is awesome. We're actually going to talk to uh, both Disaster and Organic later, too. And we're, we're just we're going to explore this. But I I purposely decided that show number one, we needed to have Lush in because nobody you, is is better to discuss like the fuckery that was involved with the, the event as a whole. Then left. No, but um, piss running down the stairs. I did. I seen it. Uh, I think that. Well, I'm technical. I'm, I'm, I'm technical. Lavos is it, and that's the thing. It's like he doesn't need to be. <laughs> he's fucking. Uh, he's funny, and he's a good. He's a great performer. But I think that like, he he fucking has wins over Johnny Storm and FLO, both because Johnny Storm didn't show up. He kind of fucked Johnny FLO. Storm's head a little bit, No, though. he did, but Johnny Storm wasn't... Gonna, Johnny Storm's first round wasn't tight, you know what I, I really mean? don't know if there was much Storm could have done to beat that person. Like, that I'll was... Tell you it what. seemed like he didn't have a much... Like, the first round was... He definitely held it, but it wasn't It wasn't a strong... Even, like, a good Johnny Storm performance, I don't think... I think that was yeah, just... Fair enough. Lavos did kill it in the Johnny Storm I, battle. I, I can't front on that performance. Killed it in that battle. But uh, he didn't battle fucking full force Johnny Storm. True. He didn't battle full force FLO. I hate for this motherfucker's head to get too swole thinking he's like a beating these amazing dudes when they're not showing well, up. That, well, that well you could you could thank the just the dick riderish nature of our fan base for that right fair there enough, because they just hop on so quick. Well, I'll tell you what, I know Lavos is is gonna listen to this cuz he 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 couldn't stand not listening to something that his name might be in. Um <laughs> Frank Stacks wants to kill you. So, like, if, if you gave, if you want, like, you really want to battle someone good who is going to show up and battle you. I will fly him out for that. I'll Frank fly Stacks, Frank Stacks wants to body you. I'll, he, I will he fly him out for that. <laughs> and I, and uh, oh, shit. This is great. Okay. Um, so, we're going to talk about the battle that happened after cannabis versus disaster um, when the life was completely sucked out of the room <laughs> yeah, who, had, who, who had to pick that up arsenal versus ilmac and after we talk arsenal versus ilmac we're going to call up organic and we're going to talk to organic about this we were going to talk to diz but it turns out he's a faggot i don't know if you guys knew this or is not. he a faggot or a <laughs> faggot <laughs> magnet he might be he might that's be both the, that's what cannabis asked. he might he might be both hey, yo, cannabis like asked him Disaster. This motherfucker, he's like, he's like, yeah, it's all good. We could do it. We could do it. All good. And then he's like, sorry, I can't do it, man. My mom said I. I, no, I, I <laughs> no, look, he, even better. He's he's doing a red carpet event in Hollywood. No shit. He texted me that. <laughs> I fucking hate you, dude. You're disaster. <laughs> you are so fucking gay. Dude. Disaster. He's on now. He's on now. He beat a terrible rapper. He's fucking. He finally <laughs> made it. <laughs> disaster. Fucking what, the red carpet, bro. Finally, dude. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow snatches opening as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm sorry, dude. Me and Lady Gaga got to hit this red carpet event, bro. I need to make my entrance. Perez Hilton. He's is like, you're late. Perez Hilton is waxing dis yourself. disaster's eyebrow and chest as we speak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, f I'm, I'm a half an hour late to call you on the phone for fucking five minutes, you faggot. Like... <laughs> Like you can't, like you can't uh, give an interview from from the red carpet. You you fucking. Rock I'm technical. Star, you. I'm technical. It's not. You're not technical enough, Diz, to give an interview from the red carpet. 
You just a funny guy with peanut butter brown honey eyes. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty pretty much. fucking much. There's consensus dude. around here. <laughs> pretty much. Let's talk cannabis versus disaster. Carl all put this. me here to eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Money shot. Let's talk cannabis versus disaster in all its glory. Um, so basically, it all started when um, I decided that I needed somebody else to start running Grind Time Fresh Coast in about late '09. This is good. Okay, we're starting earlier yeah, than I really thought we were going to start. Here. I thought we were going to start you when just, cannabis walks in the ring. I'm even, in love with this. Honestly, so, you didn't even like wait look, for like the. We're, I'm sitting back. Change. Look, we're going to light up grape, homie. Cannabis light up disaster. grape. Grapes getting lit, and then we're gonna. And I'm just gonna. I'm passing it to to Lush right now, and he's gonna tell me the it's story. Thirty pages of rhymes in this motherfucker. Thirty pages. He's gonna. He's gonna spit basically thirty, 30 pages, pages yeah, worth much. Well, of of cannabis versus disaster and how this battle came about. The first thing, like, conversation cannabis and I had was mad awkward, bro. Like, he walks up to me and he's just like, Mama, say, Mama, my Mama, Mama. He, like, puts his arm on me. He's like, Yo, Lush. He's like, Yo, man, I respect you. I got mad respect for you. You know what I, what I admire about you, man, what I've always liked? It's how you hold down your main gladiator. You, you, you be looking out for your swordsman. You always holding him down. I ain't saying that on no jelly shit. What? <laughs> what the fuck you <laughs> said? He, <laughs> he was like talking about how I like respect Diz and like represent for him. Like, I, <laughs> I was like, all swordsman? right, all right. Bro. Yeah, he's a swordsman, dude. That, hey, that shit sounds hell yeah, bro. I was like, like I was like, be like, you hold down your main gladiator. Hey, what am I going to say with you classic pack standing right there, yeah, shirtless? I'm saying like. If you two were riding on a horse, he would be able to hold on to your abs very, very oh, strong. And I would be like, not jealous. It's like, I'm yo, like, nah, I'm I ain't jealous. jealous. I ain't saying that I'm jealous. You, you hold your man's sword when he goes into <laughs> battle. I respect that. I'm technical. I'm gl you're a gladiator. You're a gladiator for your man. You would take shots for your man. Way you before the end of those were scrolling face. our walls to the metaphoric scores. <laughs> I seen the piss running down the stairs. You fell out your mother booty all wiggly. First Mom sign. put me here to eat shit and die. First one. First thing. What did he say? First thing. Tom Cruise, mom. Mama say, mama saw my mom. Not that, dude. Not that. I ain't have enough quarters for the toe. So. Funny guy with peanut butter no. brown honey eyes. Look at every other one. Tom. I seen the piss running down the stairs. Tom Cruise. Mother booty all wiggly. Tom Cruise, I mom's shoes. You did it already, bro. I don't know where it went. It's 30 paces around <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they're all awesome. I'm not a good freestyle. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Not a good freestyle. Okay, so first thing this fool says is.